Hi, welcome to the next training session of SAP FICO module. We are in the controlling part of the FICO module where the topic for today's training is cost center accounting. In cost center accounting, we'll be covering the above table of contents, introduction to cost center accounting, master data which involves cost center activity type and statistical key figures. Then we'll go through the configuration steps in the SAP system and unit testing so as to test that the configuration steps are successful via posting the transactions into the system. So let's move up to the introduction to cost center accounting. Cost center accounting is the organizational unit within a controlling area that represents a defined location of cost increments. Core component of overhead management of controlling and created for internal controlling purposes and provides a tool that can collect costs. It defines the smallest area of responsibility within the company that causes and influences cost. The lowest level to which you can meaningfully assign the direct and indirect cost. Before the configuration of cost center accounting, one must ensure that the following activities have been completed. First, organizational unit in general accounting. Second, cost element accounting concepts. And third, activate the cost center accounting in controlling area. So let's discuss in broad what this cost center accounting is all about and how this is meaningful for the organization. Cost center accounting as said is the core component of overhead management of controlling. It deals with the cost of the organization in detail. It deals with the allocation of cost from one cost center to another cost center in the controlling area. The main objective of cost center accounting is to plan the cost and compare with the actual cost and prepare the variance analysis report for the management. On the basis of these reports, invaluable decisions are taken by the management internally. As said, cost center accounting is utilized within the SAP to collect and report operating activity within an organization unit. So, the cost center accounting are basically the cost centers which are assigned against the expenses and all those expenses are booked in the cost centers depending upon the different reason wise or product wise or how the organization want to distinguish their cost in different parts. Besides the configuration of cost element accounting, Cost center accounting is the most used component of CO when it comes to tracking cost or you can say tracking expenses. Configuring the cost center accounting module is a combination of table settings and master data development. So we'll study about how these cost center configuration is done but it basically in simple terms means that cost centers are assigned for to the expenses so that those particular expenses can be covered in the cost center depending upon the levels how that has been bifurcated or divided. So as discussed now before going moving up to the configuration of cost center accounting one must have to ensure that the below three activities are completed. One is the organizational unit in the general controlling. 
So this organizational units in general controlling basically refers to the controlling area which we have already covered in the first training session of SAP controlling where we have completed the basic settings of the SAP controlling module. In the next training, in the second training session of SAP controlling module, we have completed the concept of cost element accounting as well. So moving to the cost center accounting, you must have to ensure that the first two activities have been completed and the third activity that is activate cost center accounting. Again, this activity we have completed in the basic settings. If you could revisit or if you could remember that particular session where we have to activate the components which had to be used in the controlling area. The components can be cost center accounting, profit center accounting, it could be orders, it could be activity based costing. So these are different components if you remember that we have activated when we created the controlling area in which we move to the uh, one of the configuration step of activating the components. So these all have already been completed as, as discussed. Now moving on to the next is master data. Cost center accounting can be divided into three master records. One is cost center, second activity type and third statistical key figure. We'll be discussing these each of the master data as we will be moving to the configuration steps in detail. So moving to the next is the configuration steps. In this, as you can see on your screen, the different configuration steps have been mentioned. First is to set the controlling area. This is what the same configuration step that we did in the basic setting part. Just to cross check whether the cost center accounting has been activated or not. Second is to define the standard hierarchy. Then moving down to define cost center categories, create cost centers, define cost center groups, create activity types and maintain statistical key figures. So we'll be discussing each of them in detail and we'll be, we'll be doing the practicals of these all in the SAP system. So let's move on to the first configuration step of cost center accounting that is set controlling area. Now this particular step we had, in, this is to ensure that the controlling area in which we are implementing the cost center accounting, whether the cost center accounting has been activated or not. So to go and cross check that particular part, we need to go to the transaction code OKKP by which we can move and we can check this particular step. So let's move on to the SAP screen and execute the transaction OKKP OKKP enter. So as you can see on your screen this is the basic data which we had created in the very basic setting part in the first training session of controlling. We need to select our own controlling area which we have created. So there are two options whether you can search it while dragging this particular cursor down or the second option is if you remember your controlling area you can go to position and you can directly type the controlling area code that is a four character code so the controlling area which we had created is Z100 enter so as entered you can see the first option over here is, has been searched as Z100 now we can select this controlling area over here Z100 once selected, now we need to move to the Activate Component Control Indicators. So once you double click onto the Activate Components, now you can see in the next screen that in this you will find different components. As you can see over here the option Activate Components. So if you want to activate the cost center, you need to go to this particular part and you can see over here the component is already active. 
in case this had been not active in that case for implementing the cost center accounting we have to first activate the cost center over here so this is where we just need to go and cross check whether the cost center accounting has been activated or not mind it for each of the sub modules of controlling you have to go and cross check whether that particular component is active for the controlling area z100 or not as you can see on the screen cost center is active order management is active commitment management is active similarly profit center accounting project sales order these all has been selected that means these are activated they are already active in the controlling area so this is how you need to go and you need to cross check you have to revisit the configuration to confirm whether that particular component which you are going to implement is already active or not so as in the screen the cost center is already active that's what we need to look for and then we can save the screen and we can move back back again back we can move to the SAP Easy Access screen. So this was the first step where we just need to cross check. This refers to the last step over here which, which we discussed about activating the cost center accounting in the controlling area. So just we cross checked with this first configuration step that the cost center accounting is already activated. Now moving to the second configuration step is define standard hierarchy. Now a standard hierarchy the key development area within the cost center accounting module is the standard hierarchy standard hierarchy is the tree structure representing all cost centers belonging to a controlling area from a controlling perspective let's have a prior more discussions on this standard hierarchy so as to understand it in more clear terms Prior to creating any cost centers in the controlling area, you must first complete the standard hierarchy steps, which is the central cost center hierarchy to be created in the controlling area. This standard hierarchy acts as the one repository for all the cost centers. You can create additional or alternative hierarchies as well to meet additional reporting requirements and for possible use in the allocation process. This particular way out can be done for the standard hierarchy. But you have to take care that each time you create a cost center, a hierarchy node is assigned or you can say a hierarchy node assignment is needed on the cost center master record so whenever you create any of the master data you first need a standard hierarchy because that is standard hierarchy need to be assigned to that particular master record that is why it is a very important part to create the standard hierarchy so this is what you have to take care that you need to create the standard hierarchy over here but now we have to go and cross check how this can be created so the menu path is on your screen img then to controlling to cost center and in cost center we need to go to master data and then in cost centers and then a standard hierarchy so let's see how we can move on to the sap to this particular step in the sap system so going through the path we first need to execute the transaction spro enter then we need to go to SAP reference IMG click on it so as I clicked it took me to the display IMG that is the implementation guide in that I will be moving up to my own respective module that is controlling so we need to expand this from over here so I have expanded now in this I am now on the cost center accounting so I need to expand the cost center accounting further and as per the path cost center accounting then master data so we need to go further to master data now and then we need to go to cost centers and then standard 
hierarchy. So now we can move up to the cost center and we can expand this path and then you can find over here the second step is define a standard hierarchy. So the path is simple. We first need to go to the controlling, then cost center accounting, then master data and in master data cost centers and then standard hierarchy. So now we are on this particular step. We need to execute this step. So once you execute this step, now you can see it asks you for the controlling area. So you need to put your comp particular controlling area that is Z100. Now one thing I would recommend you to do before going for creating the standard hierarchy, before beginning the configuration step for the standard hierarchy, Please spend some time querying with the organization or the management about any changes to their organizational structure. This standard hierarchy is basically works as a cost center standard uh, organizational structure. So you first need to sit and make a hierarchy outline on a spreadsheet or a or a, on certain paper, hard copy of it, and you must get these signed off from your management or from the from the organization management where you are implementing it so as to save needless development time later on because at times the things later on changes from some to the other part and then you have to again structure the you have to restructure the organization structure within the controlling cost center accounting so better is to first sit discuss with the management plan and decide the layout in a spreadsheet get it signed off and then move on for configuring the these things on the SAP system so now moving on once we have assigned the controlling area now we can go for tick mark this correct tick mark over here click on it and we can move to the next screen now so as you can see over here on the screen this is the standard hierarchy which had been defined already. If you remember, we had defined the standard hierarchy when we created the controlling area in the basic setting part. So this is your standard hierarchy which you can see over here. If you want, you can even change the description with this change option as you can see over here. So this is where the standard hierarchy has to be maintained this is your standard hierarchy which we had been created and on the one side as you can see there is nothing else in the standard hierarchy as of now however as we create more of the cost center groups and cost centers that particular cost center and cost center groups will be assigned within the standard hierarchy and it will give you a tree step shape of it which will give you a better understanding of all the different cost centers under which heading which group how it is been assigned for a better reporting perspective so this is over here if in case the standard hierarchy is not defined you can move to this create option over here and you can create your own hierarchy as well so right now we don't need to create any of them we just need to revisit this and we had revisited if you want you can you can name your standard hierarchy over here the standard hierarchy defined is a1000 the same can be renamed over here as standard hierarchy for company code 1200 so this is what you can give the description to your own standard hierarchy and then you can go and you can save this screen and your hierarchy description will be changed as you can see over here the hierarchy description now has been changed over here as it has been defined so this has been changed as you can see over here the description for your hierarchy has been changed even the next step is to add new hierarchy nodes as said you can add new hierarchies to it as well by moving to this create option over here one on the standard hierarchy for the controlling 
for the cost center change screen you can see this over here as an add node by which you can add further standard hierarchies of the cost centers as well this particular tab as you can see over here this icon of create can be used and at the same time even you can use these options one level up level down down or assign these can be used later on once you have got couples of uh, uh, cost center groups and cost center which had to be assigned within the standard hierarchy in the SAP system so that can even be done in a later part so this is your group name which we have already discussed this is the standard hierarchy this group name which is over here can be of 11 characters in length remember that the group node ID can later can be used later in the reporting purpose as well for uh, various reports and over here we can put the description which we already defined and you can see in the below that the change data over here when it was been created the user ID has been reflected to you and even the date and the time when it was been created has been assigned and in the next part you can see over here last changed by so when it has been changed right now we had changed the description over here so the same description date will be taken up over here as the next change done in this standard hierarchy so this is how your standard your particular uh, standard hierarchy can be created and now I can save and I can move to the next configuration step so now moving to the next configuration step is cost center categories cost center categories basically help in setting defaults on the cost center master data cost center categories are defined to specify the nature of the cost centers these cost center categories are useful in activity planning of a cost center the categories cannot be changed after the transactional data was posted to a cost center so once you do any of the transactions with respect to the cost center you cannot change the categories in the cost center master record the cost center categories specify that data can be captured or posted to a cost center the uses of cost center categories are threefold first cost center categories deliver default control indicator values to the cost center master record during the cost center creation second cost center categories are assigned to the activity type master record as the key to which type of the cost center can be can use a given activity type and the third is they can be used during the functional area assignment reporting and evaluations and as a search criteria SAP delivers standard categories like sales administration production etc which can be used for, by the organization for their reporting purpose so let's see how this can be looked for in the SAP system let's move on to the SAP IMG path so as we are over here the very next step over here you can see is define cost center categories so we can move to execute this step over here and we can see there are number of different cost center categories already defined on the basis of which you can categorize your cost center master records that whether that particular cost center master record belongs to a production unit or a sales unit or related to a research and development unit and on the basis of that you can segregate your cost center with the help of cost center categories so this is how you can see that with the help of this cost center categories you will mean the organization be able to understand whether that particular cost center belongs to a production department or a sales department or a management department or accounts and finance department so it it let you know the nature of the cost center to which particular part it belongs to 
and that is why this particular cost center categories are created so they are they, these all which are you are looking forward to 1 till 9 these are all been defined by a standard SAP itself in case there is any new name or any new category has to be added that can be added by going to this new entries over here so once you move to this new entry with this you can create your own category as well so suppose I went up to this new entries over here and I want to create a, a separate cost center category as uh, suppose as A and I can take over here as logistics and now moving to the next is we need to identify the quantity so if you want that the quantity has to be there then we need to check this over here so the cost center will retain the quantity information as well to whom this particular cost center category will be assigned the next is actual primary cost over here so we don't need it because once you select this this will block your actual primary cost to the cost center so we don't need to take this neither we need to take the secondary actual secondary cost as well moving to the next now is activate revenues now if this field is activated revenues cannot be posted to the cost center with this category if this is not activated then the revenues can be posted to the cost centers but only statistical so we we can select this part over here and moving to the next is the planning cost so if this is to be activated then the cost center category is blocked for planning the cost so we don't we can select this because we need we don't need to go for the planning or if you need you can if you need the cost center for the planning perspective you can uh, you can untick this mark or unactivate this deactivate so we don't need even this part over here as a planning secondary moving to the next is now so we need to activate the plan revenue so we'll take the actual revenue as well as the plan revenue rest of the things are not needed so we have selected the activity activated the activity actual revenue and the plan revenue so once these have been done now the next is your function over here so if any functional department has been involved that can be taken up over here this refers to the functional area which is assigned to the profit center categories so there are different functional areas which you need you can select it for example uh, right now we have created for logistics so logistics would be a part of basically manufacturing revenue uh, any of the purchase department should be there with which we can take this so it's not there we can take it up with uh, the manufacturing or let's take it with the okay with the manufacturing so this is the functional area which we have assigned now sometimes to remember about the categories is that a new cost center will observe the control indicator settings as they are configured at the moment of creation so whatever the configuration we are doing over here and this particular cost center category will be assigned to the cost center so this will take up and observes all the control indicators as has been assigned over here so now we can move and we can save this screen and now you can see the data was saved that means your logistics cost center category has been defined as on the screen any future changes to a category will not have a retrospective or you can say will not have a retroactive impact on the previously created cost centers for example a change to disallow the secondary cost element planning on all the production cost centers is made any future cost center created 
from that time forward will be subject to this transaction or you can say whether subjected to this particular restriction any existing cost center in the environment will not be affected each of the production cost center will need to have its own control indicator adjusted manually so we can save this screen over here and now we can move we are done with this configuration step that is the cost center categories now we can move to the next configuration step that is cost center cost center defines the smallest area of responsibility within the company that causes and influences cost the lowest level to which you can meaningfully assign direct and indirect cost cost center may also be linked to a specific business area or company code and profit centers like business area or company code profit centers and the controlling area may all be viewed as collection of cost centers so basically cost center is an organizational unit within a controlling area which represents a defined location of cost occurrence it is the lowest level in the organizational structure for cost collection each cost center in sap is attached to a profit center so in case the profit center accounting is activated then you have to assign the profit centers to the cost center master record that is a mandatory part so the cost center can be based on different parameters like functional requirement or allocation criteria or physical location or responsibility area so let's see how we can create the cost center in the sap system moving to the sap screen the path is on the screen img controlling cost center accounting then master data and in master data cost center and then create cost center so moving to the screen over here in the master data we can see the option over here in master data there is cost centers now we need to expand the cost center over here and we can find the create cost center option over here on the screen so we need to execute the create cost center so once we execute now you can see a new pop up screen has been generated where there are two options one is to create the cost center another is to change the cost center so we first need to go to create double click on the create cost center so once we double click it take us to the next screen so you can see over here on the screen now now moving on over here we need to define the cost center so let's do some working before moving on to create the cost centers like suppose i want to divide different cost centers on the basis of different plants like i want to give the as you can remember we have done the same thing for the cost elements and now for the cost center i would be giving different codes to different plant so suppose i want in every different plant every department or every division should have a different cost centers so as to easily identify what are the different cost been involved in different parts or even if you want you can assign every product a different cost center or maybe you can categorize different expenses and you can categorize how you want your cost sheet to be prepared so that accordingly the cost centers could be assigned so like in in plant 1 i have got a number of different products like product a similarly i have got couple of more products which have been manufactured in plant 1 like these are the three products which have been produced 
So I want these three products to be given a separate different cost center so they can be created on the screen or even if you want you can yeah, instead of this you can name the different departments as a different uh, cost center for plant to plant like I can could give it as production could have a different cost center then the HR department can have a different part selling and distribution could have a different cost center similarly admin could have a different cost center accounts can have a different cost center IT so similarly you can assign different cost centers to different department for each of the respective plants and suppose I give the first one with the starting as one which will represent that one refer to the plant one and then I can assign the cost center so one one zero 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 this is a six digit number which will keep differences from the cost elements which can be easily identified to you then similarly I am putting one two zero 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 so these are some certain things which you need to work on before going and creating the cost center into this system that is why you need to work on each of these part that how these nomenclatures will be created in the SAP system so as to have a proper understanding and a proper working for the organization point of view so suppose these are the different cost centers like I want to go for create the cost center 110000 for production department for plant one so we can move on to the screen we can take this cost center over here as a first part so we need to enter an alphanumeric identification for the cost center it can have 10 characters in length so I would be taking 110000 for the cost center as the first code cost center code or you can see the identifier now the second part is valid from and to now this is the validity period of the master record the time frame within which postings may occur if you want you can restrict the cost center so that beyond that particular time period no transactions can be posted into this particular cost center be certain that the period is significant in length to not interrupt the activity within a given fiscal period so you have to take care else the the users will have problem while while going and posting the transaction to the system additionally be certain that the range is sufficient to support any history loads so for example now I am been taking uh, from the fiscal year start 2014 till over here you can change this date this is infinite which can run for uh, till 9999 if you want you can restrict it till 2014 as well so there is an option of you you can restrict this I want this particular cost center should not be active after this particular date so you can put this date even if you want you can change this date over here from here to 18 as well the best part is to keep it as 9999 so as to avoid any future problems so once you have taken this code and this date now we can enter and it will take us to the next screen so moving on to the next screen now we need to put the name so the name we can select from over here that is production the same can be taken up over here now you can define the person responsible for example I am taking as Joe you can even put the department as production department and you can create now select the cost center category so if you if you just can remember that just a couple of steps back we did the cost center categories so you can see over here this is a mandatory part over here as it has been tick marked so let's see what are the different categories available so out of these you can select whichever the category that particular cost center belongs to so in my case it is the production cost center category which has been selected the next thing is the hierarchy area so we have already created the standard hierarchy once you go for the F4 key on the keyboard it will automatically select the hierarchy as there can be only one hierarchy in a particular company code so once I click you can see it has selected automatically A1000 
Now moving down, in case there is any business area to the organization, you can select the business area. Else you can leave it blank. So suppose I select the business area as product 1, which is suppose produced in the plant 1. Then we can move on to the currency, which will be USD and the profit center. So the profit center has to be selected, which we have already created as well. So we can go and we can have a list of all the profit centers. So these are the different profit centers. If you could remember, we created three different profit centers. So we can take the first one for the first plant that has been taken over here. So these are the different parameters which you need to select on the screen, the basic screen. Now moving to the next is the control. So you must have seen that we have selected the profit center over here. Remember that the cost center or the profit center in the profit center accounting can be assigned only to the lowest nod in the hierarchy area. If you attempt to enter any of the master record at the summary level, SCP will stop assignment with an error. So moving to the further part now is control option. So as we move to the next screen, we'll be displayed with a list of activities over here on the screen. So in this, there are certain activities, these all which can be logged or which can be blocked over here. So we don't need any, any of the activities to be done. We just need to block the activity commitment update and we just need to block the actual revenue and the planned revenue as of now. The rest of the options will be open so that the system can receive the entries in the particular cost center. So once this has been done, now we can move to the next, that is the address part. In the address, you can fill the address of the cost center if you have any. All the fills are optional and can be changed at any time later on. Each can be set as time dependent or changes can can be tracked as well. So once we have completed the address, we can move on to the next part that is templates. So now in the templates, you can see there are certain options like formula paint, planning, activity and business process allocation, overhead rates, rates. So these are the different options which have been needed for the planning perspective or for the product costing part which is not required as of now. So we can move on to the next is the communication. In the communication part, you can maintain the communication details, that is the, the contact details and the email ID and the fax numbers. And the last is the history. The history contains the detail of when it has been created, how many times it has been changed with the change document. So that is the part of the cost center. And then we can move and we can save this option over here. And once it has been saved, the cost center will be created. So you can see the message cost center has been created as the, as the footnote message has been generated. So once this has been generated, now we have created the cost center. Now moving further, we can change the cost center and can even display the cost center. So once you have created, now with the second option over here is change cost center, you can go back and make the changes to this particular cost center which we have just created. So we can now double click onto the change cost center. This was the cost center which we had created. You can enter and it will take you to the next screen. So you can you can go and, and have a look that what are the different cost centers detail been mentioned in the cost center part, who had created it, what is the hierarchy, what is the business area, what is the profit center assigned to it has been men, has been displayed to you over here. And in case you want any changes to be done, you can make the changes over here. As you can see, all the fields are additable to you. So the changes are allowed. So this is where you can go and you can go and cross check and make the changes as per the requirement. Even if you want, you can cross this tab and there are even transaction codes as mentioned to you below that is 
KS01 for creating the cost center, KS02 for change the cost center, and KS03 to display the cost center. So even you can go to this KS03 just to have the display of the cost center over here. So now we can click on to the enter and now you can see that these are all in the display mode right now. That means you can just only go through the information so you cannot make any changes to the information because this is in the display mode. So at times if you want to see the descriptions, the details in the master records you can go and you can have the display of the cost center with the transaction KS03. So this is how you can create the cost center, you can change the cost center and even you can display the cost center in the SAP system. Now further moving on to the next configuration step is cost center groups. It is the logical grouping of cost centers in the standard hierarchy to establish accountability and responsibility for one or more cost centers. It facilitates reporting, planning and allocating cost at a more aggregated level. There must be at least one group that contains all cost centers and represents the entire business organization. This cost center group is also known as or described as the standard hierarchy which we have just uh, have uh, done a while back. So now there is a so the different cost centers are assigned to a particular group and cost cost are recorded in those cost centers are analyzed through various reports on the basis of these cost center groups. Cost center groups are also used to for the validation and substitution rules that is if you want a particular cost center out of a group or the cost center group to be used for a particular transaction then that can be done through the validation and substitution as well. Now these cost center groups are created within the standard hierarchy and if the cost center are assigned to different nodes of different nodes of a standard hierarchy are required for a reporting purpose. So for that we need to create the cost center groups. So ultimately these cost center groups are created within the standard hierarchy and within the cost center groups the cost centers are assigned. So it's a tree form where the higher level is the standard hierarchy and the next lower level to the standard hierarchy is the cost center groups and then within the cost center groups the cost centers are assigned. So you can have many different groups depending as per the requirement as the company wants as per different reporting purpose. So even for example we just took the plant so different plants are there so you can have different plant wise different groups can be created as we, we have seen over here or even if you want you can create different groups for different department wise for different plant as well. So it's up to the management how they want it to be done. So if you create plant wise cost center groups it will give you cost of that particular plant for, from that particular cost center group levels. So now how can we, we do that? Let's see. So the path is there on the screen to you. We can move on to the SAP system. So in this particular part only you will find over here that defined cost center groups is there. So we can move up to this particular option. We can execute it. And in this particular part we can move on to create cost center groups. Double click on to the create cost center groups. Once you double click it takes you to the next screen. So this was your cost center group that is the standard hierarchy actually and once you enter on it okay no we don't need to do that cancel it. So we'll be creating different groups for example now I will be taking the groups over here as a suppose plant 1 is there for so for plant 1 I will be taking the cost center group as P1 
zero zero zero. So I can create P one zero zero zero, or you can have P zero 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 one as well. And this will represent the plant one. Enter. So once I entered, you can see on the option over here has been created, and I can name it as cost center group plant one. Similarly, you can create for plant two, plant three as well. So we can take on the similar level. So let's take the similar level. Okay, it says invalid. So first we need to save the first group which we have created. Now we can move on to similar levels. Okay, it doesn't allow. We need to go back and then over here we need to create P zero 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 two. Enter. So you can see over here the next group has been created. Now in this particular group we can assign cost. Center group plant two. So this group will refer to the plant two part. So in these particular groups, we can assign their respective cost centers. So now moving up to the next is change. And even if you want, you can go back and you can click onto this change option and you can change the cost center groups. So the one which we created was P zero 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 one. Enter. So you can move back and you can see over here change cost center group. You cannot delete it, but you can make the changes to it. So suppose we take it as cost center group plant one, and you can go back and you can save it. So within the plant one, like we have just created one cost center that is one one zero 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 zero. And now I want this green mark cost center, which we have created uh, in the last step, to be assigned to this particular group, P zero zero one. I want this group, this cost center, to be assigned to this group, so that whenever I move to this cost center, this cost center plant one group, I can have a look of all the different cost centers within this particular group. So how I can do it? I need to go to this lower level. Once I click onto the lower level, within the group, lower levels of different cost centers will be created. Or even else, you can click onto this cost center if you want to insert the cost center. Okay. No. We can go back again to change. Okay. P zero 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 one. Enter. We can put the cursor over here on this P zero 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 one. Once you put the cursor over here, now you need to go to this cost center. Once you click onto the cost center, now you can see a list of different cost options have opened up over here, where we can assign the cost center. So this was the cost center which we created, which can be assigned over here within this particular group. This is one of the options. Where we can assign and we can save it, and that cost center will be saved onto this. The further option says that I have created a group, and within the group I want subgroups to be created. Like I have created a group for plant one that is P zero zero one, but within the group I want these different departments to be grouped with their respective cost centers. So what I can do is now within the group I can create subgroups. So for that I need to put the cursor on P zero 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 one, and I need to go to this lower level. So once I go to the lower level, I can create number of different lower level groups as well. So for example, if I go for plant production, so to production I can write it as zero zero one. I can read for, uh, put the description of the group as production. Okay, I can write it as cost center group production. So this is your group, or you can see uh, as a subgroup of it, cost center group production that has been created within the cost center group production. Now we can assign the cost center, which should actually be assigned. 
so this is your cost center over here which we had created which can be taken over here so when enter this will be you can see over here one one zero 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 that is the cost center for production has been created and has been assigned to it similarly within a particular production cost center like in the production department there could be different level of different expenses incurred and every expenses can be given a separate cost center or de depending upon how the reporting is required accordingly you can group those things and you can create that much of the cost centers so moving up to the next you can again put the cursor on p0001 and you can go to this lower level and you can create one more cost center group that is p002 that is a subgroup and this can be named a second one that is hr so you can name that as the hr department so this will refer to the hr cost center group for plant one similarly you can create further more and once you create this group whatever the cost center will be created for plant one hr department can be assigned to this particular hr over here p002 save the entry so your save changes have been saved so this is how we can go back and we can create the cost center group we can change the cost center group at any point of time even if you want you can add any of the groups within the hierarchy and see how the changes are reflected so this is how your cost center groups are created now let's see once again the standard hierarchy how it reflects to you so the transaction code is OKENN -E -N. so if you move on to the transactions because in the standard hierarchy now we have assigned the groups we have assigned a cost center as well so enter now okay e n n okay it doesn't exist okay no problem we can take the first transaction code okay e o n enter so once we move on to the standard hierarchy over here now we can see that within the hierarchy now there are there is a production cost center has been created and even if you want you can see the group wise as well so this is the cost center which has been created and you can see the detail of the cost center the person responsible who has created this particular cost center has also been reflected to you so we have covered these much of the configuration steps couple of the configuration steps are left and then we will be moving to the unit testing and that we will be doing up in the next training session Till then you can go through these all of these steps and the basic understanding of these and we'll see you in the next training session with the rest of the part of cost center accounting. Thank you.